Thank you very much, Marsha, and thank you very much, Cookie. I like your new tagline to my new friends of gold, SOS is the place to be. Mm -hmm. And as many of you who do know Marsha, she's truly a volunteer that any opportunity we post on our WhatsApp group, she's like, oh, I can do that. I'm like, don't you have enough people that you visit? Mm -hmm. But she really does go out of her way for everyone. We're so grateful to all of the hours that you give weekly. So thank you, Marsha. I wanted to begin by thanking each and every one of you just for being here this evening. It means so much to Hani and myself. Hani and I are so grateful to the sponsors of this evening, as well as our high society, our high society major gift donors, our Nate Zach's legacy high club donors, and our financial supporters, just for partnering with us to create the most beautiful and caring community for our community's most dear, our seniors. A special thank you to our teammates. And the truth is, that's really every single one of you. But specifically, I wanted to highlight our executive committee, and most importantly, all of our amazing volunteers. The power and the good that we do together is a force to be reckoned with that enables us to reach so far and in a true meaningful way to each and every single senior. It truly is you, our supporters and our volunteers, that together makes Everything Smile on Seniors, a success. Connie and I want to publicly express our gratitude to God, of course, for the weather, for those of you here last week, year, um, but for every blessing that God has given us, including the blessing of each and every single one of you. And we ask God to continue to shower you and your families and on our nation of Israel with safety, good health, happiness, success, materially and spiritually, and of course, the return of our hostages. Amen. Amen. So, L'chaim. It is a happy hour. <laughs> Cheers. I recently received an email. And the email said, Good afternoon. We would love to personally invite you and your seniors to attend a Lunch and Learn at the Hilton. It was a longer text. And then it signed itself, Kind Regards, Seniors Across America. Did you ever wonder what makes Smile on Seniors so unique? Thank you. <laughs> I thought about it as I read that email. Anyone can cater Shabbat dinner for 200 plus seniors. Anyone can host a monthly lunch with a presentation, clearly, as this email showed. Or meet up monthly at a coffee shop or host the Super Bowl party for 75 people, a happy hour for Jewish active mature adults, or a canasta round robin with friends. With, by the way, I don't know anyone can do that, but thank you, Izzy and Pinky. <laughs> but I think you get my gist. The list can go on, and it does, with so many exciting things that we host and offer. But what is the secret? What is the it factor that makes us different? What is it that brought over 200 people together this evening? And what is it that motivated over 175 people to volunteer with Smile on Seniors? And just this year alone in our September, we added 12 more. What is it that motivated 644 individual donors to partner with Smile on Seniors in 2022, which was an increase from the previous year? And of these donors, 125 are committed and give monthly by the Nate Sachs Legacy High Club. And of those, 52 are larger annual partners with high society gifts. And six, as far as we know, have committed with legacy gifts to make sure that our long-term future is ensured. So what is it that in our short 14 years makes us unique and different than that seniors across America? I'm giving them a shout out here. We're all probably gonna Google them later. <laughs> A few months ago, a dear supporter, with skin in the game as I call it, someone who volunteers, supports generously, asked me this question. He said, Levy, why don't you charge more for events? It would take care of a lot of the fundraising, right? You raise the price, you don't have to fundraise. And many of you may know, and so this is something that Marsha just touched on, at our events, we do not charge anything close to what the true costs are. 
Not only that, it's a suggested donation. You can check in at event, and Marsha, together with Matt, and whoever else is at the other table, will welcome you, together with our volunteers, with open arms, as if you sponsor the event. In 2011, the late Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs shared what motivated the Chabad Rebbe to send his emissaries all over the world and right here in Arizona as well. And this is the quote, this is on video. He said, the Nazis searched out every Jew in hate. We will search out every Jew in love. You and I are here because we care about each other. It's not a transaction each time we do a program or an event or when we help a senior or an older adult. It is, as my father said, it is to love your fellow Jew as yourself. There is no price that you can put to that. Being there for our communities, older adults and seniors, is priceless. A friend of mine, who is a doctor, recently brought this point out. He shared with me, we were at a bar mitzvah and we were talking, and he was talking about his practice and possibly purchasing new equipment or a new program. And he said that he decides if it makes financial sense and if it brings profits as practice. And I was thinking, I'm like, if the machine works well for your patients, don't you just buy it? And I said that to him. So he said, no, 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 you are correct. But the thing is, is that you're mission driven. So you do things that make sense for what will help the people you serve. My business is profit driven. I'm not telling you who the doctor is. <laughs> But how right he truly is. We are mission driven. We care. We care about our seniors and we're not going anywhere. We believe that people of all ages should benefit from the joy of community. A few years ago, our volunteer Amy Mastown was here speaking on our behalf, on behalf of all the volunteers. And she shared about one of her friends that she visits, a woman who doesn't hear well, she has some hearing issues. Last year, through Smile on Seniors, this woman shared with me a beautiful picture of her and her granddaughter. They were holding babkas together in her kitchen. We had done a program, a babka bake with the Queen of Babka, a dear friend of ours. And she joined virtually. This was an in-person event. We still have all of our events hybrid to make sure that those who cannot make it in person can attend. She joined specifically virtually because she can hear better. We have subtitles and it's transcripted. And she told me how meaningful this babka bake was in helping her bond with her granddaughter. Last year, I spoke about a woman who couldn't attend our events because she was going through cancer treatments. And we shared how our volunteers through the Soaring Spirits program that we have helped her through this most challenging time. During that time, unbeknownst to me, her husband was hospitalized for five days. That was known to me. And she emailed me, she said, Shavua Tov, Levi. She's Israeli. It probably said Levi. Thank you for visiting my husband at Shea Hospital this week. You were the only visitor he had in the five days he was there, and I am very thankful for that. She was not, she was not able to visit him. And I want to just point out, it's not just the people we know. Last week, we received a call, a family desperate to have a rabbi visit for prayers for their mom in her final hours. They knew no rabbis in town. They're not members of any congregations. I googled the address, it's a 40 minute drive from my house. They weren't connected to any community, so they thought. We know the truth. They are part of our family. And that evening, a rabbi was with their family providing the comfort and prayers they so needed. But even more, they had a community holding their hand. You do this with us. We don't do this on our own. You too are mission driven. About a month ago, a 94 year old senior's family and doctors decided it was time to move to a smaller group home. Hani and I supported the family and this woman. It was very difficult, the transition of course, and her health. And maybe a week later, she ends up at a hospital and I went to visit. I come up the floor, she's on I think it was the fifth floor, I turn the corner out of the elevator and I hear a commotion. I'm looking for the room. And it's this woman's room. And she is screaming at the doctor. She is in full restraints. That's her hands and her feet. And I'm like, oh no. What am I getting into? What am I walking into? And she sees me. She relaxes for a minute. But the first question she asked was, are you also part of the conspiracy? And I assured her that I came to visit 
and everyone wants her to get well. As I exited the elevator on the first floor leaving the hospital, I bumped into the doctor who she was screaming at when I walked in. And he said, even her own daughter was not able to have that effect, that she calmed down. What is your secret? The secret is each and every single one of you. It's your love, your compassion, your care for every single older adult. These last weeks have been quite tough for everyone, but our seniors as well. And that is an understatement. Israel is constantly on their minds. The horrors of October 7th remind them of the darkest parts of our generation's history that some of them have lived through. And the rise in visible anti-Semitism scares them, not just for themselves, but for their children and their grandchildren and their grandchildren's future. Hani and I visit over 20 of our 53 beneficiaries on a regular monthly basis. And I will tell you that our programs, which are titled, I do a discussion with the rabbi, Hani does a tea and talk with Hani, they have honestly become group therapy sessions. It hurts us to see their pain. But our message is always the same. We have to do our part to add light to this world, to be beacons for our families and communities. And we remind them to be proud Jews, standing tall. And honestly, it is the greatest feeling when we know that this helps them. And they actually walk away saying, hey, I'm going to do another mitzvah. And I'm going to show my Judaism proudly. And this is only because they know that you are here for them. And that is the greatest comfort. In July, I received a call. The woman tells me that her uncle Al moved into a community in Scottsdale, and she's asking if we can deliver Shabbat dinner to him every single Friday. And I am thinking to myself that they probably meant to call the restaurant. <laughs> but no, she knows exactly who she's calling. And I explained to this woman what we offer. The full gambit, the one-on-one -on -one visits, monthly dinners, lunch discussions, holiday events, monthly Shabbat services, which are happening in his community. Sometimes they're led by, by me, sometimes they're led by a volunteer of ours, and she is blown away. We immediately connected a volunteer, Eric, to visit him, and they hit it off. In fact, I check in with our volunteers, and Eric told me on one of the check-ins, I had sent him a text, I'm like, hey, how are your visits with Al? And he replies, going great, just finishing up a visit right now. Great guy. But I want to tell you what blew me away. Hadassah is the name of this Al's niece. She lives in New York and suffering. She goes over to her local Chabad in New York. And on October 13th, she sends me a message in WhatsApp. She began a smile on seniors in her area, inspired by what we do here in the Valley. And her initial program was on the 13th. It was at the Sentinel of Rockland. And this is to quote her message. I'd be lying if I said a few tears, mine among them, were not shed. I'm privileged to have this opportunity to make a difference. Hashtag, so she wrote it, <laughs> nourishing the Jewish soul. And I want to tell you that this is exactly what your partnership and support is all about. You care about every Jewish senior and every older, older adult. And to quote the late Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, we seek them in love. And most importantly, we are successful thanks to you and to your partnership. Thank you and thank you again for everything that you do together with us. Thank you. I too am a great paint by numbers guy. And I will paint on behalf of all of you of our community, and again, a special thank you.